Hi everybody, today in this video I will show you the main problems related to microwave ovens. But first listen to carefully. If you are not used to working with high voltage circuits, do not try to repair it because of the 2000 volts inside. Here, these red wires have 2000 volts. The main transformer, magnetron and high voltage capacitor. Be careful. So let's get started. After you remove the cover, the first step is to discharge the high voltage capacitor for safety reasons of course. Although the capacitor have an internal discharging resistor, never trust in it. Your life is at stake. Discharge as follows. Discharge each terminal to the chassis. This way, several times. Now it's okay, it is discharged. So what are the most frequent problems? Uh, number one, high voltage capacitor. Here, the problems, short circuit between the terminals or between each terminal and the case. The other problem is no capacitance. Uh, number two, standby power supply here, below the control panel. This small transformer provides five, volt, five volts to the control panel, usually open or short circuit, okay? Uh, number three, magnetron. Magnetron generates the microwave radiation. The problems. Main problem, short circuit between the terminal and the chassis, the case. And the other problem is when it, do, it doesn't generate the radiation. In this case, you have to replace it by a, by a new one. Now, number four. Door switches. Here, one, two, three. The problem about these switches, I have here one switch. Generally, in internal mechanical problems like this or overheating. In both cases you have to replace it by a new one. And now number five, the control panel itself here. generally problems with the microprocessor. In this case, the only way is to replace it by a new one, okay? Number six, high voltage transformer. This transformer provides the 2000 volts, rectifies, and then connect it to the, to the magnetron. The, generally, the problem with this transformer is secondary open or in short circuit. Number seven, high voltage capacitor. 
Oh, excuse me. High voltage diode. This one. This diode rectifies the AC 2000 volts. The problems. Uh, short circuit or open. Okay. Things about the 20 ampere fuse. This fuse, the main fuse, will blow up when these parts have problems. First, magnetron. When it has short circuit, the fuse blow up. High voltage transformer. When short circuit, door switches, in some cases, high voltage diode, when short circuit, high voltage capacitor, when have short circuit. Now remember, the control panel have a small fuse to protect the standby power supply, usually less than 1 ampere. So, the 20 ampere fuse always will be okay when the panel is short circuited, okay? Now remember, make sure all parts replaced comply with manufacturer specifications and never try to measure the, the, the high voltage unless you have a special insulated voltmeter, okay? That's very important. Now I'll show you how to measure the magnetron, high voltage diode and the high voltage capacitor. The high voltage capacitor. We select here in the multimeter the high resistance scale. Charging, discharging. The capacitor have no problem with, with capacitors. Short circuit from one terminal to the case. It's okay. All the terminal to the case. Problem. Short circuit to the case. This is was the problem of the microwave. High voltage capacitor short circuit are replaced by a, a new one now the diode also in the high resistance scale direct reverse okay well that's all for today and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Have a good day and thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.